Hi everybody, um, Scrub Chicky here. This is going to be my day 30. Um, my day 30 challenge for Marion's 31 days. Can't believe it's almost, or it is, over. Um, I waited for most of the morning to try and get a good natural light down here. Um, I'm going to do a tour of my very humble scrap room. It is in my basement. Um, half of the basement is my scrap room and the other half is my husband's Oh, what is it like his theater kind of thing game room and that kind of stuff so anyway I'm just gonna show you really quick what it looks like like I said it's my humble little scrap room but it's my happy space and some of you guys have seen parts of it just because I used them in my part as part of my challenges so I don't think I'm gonna talk I'm just gonna kind of pan around so you guys can see um, that mess is not mine <laughs> that belongs to my daughter so not my mess. Um, just so you guys can see my favorite magazines, the Scrapbook Trends and Cards Magazine from Northridge Publishing. Check them out. I love them. Um, just my close to my heart books. Projects that I've completed, um, workshop, upcoming workshops and product that I have on hand. My ribbon organizer, all my beautiful tags from uh, Marie's Tag Swap. I love them. I keep them up there for inspiration. There's some more up here on the windowsill, but I don't want to pan on there because it's too bright. My Cricut and my beautiful um, glass jars. I got all my flowers in. The You guys saw the um, rubber shelving. My cinch. And over here is my um, kind of my cutting station. Got my um, taper trimmer, glass mat, and the cuddle bug. That's the computer I use um, when I'm down here. This is my fabulous, there's my tripod, <laughs> but this is my fabulous um, this shoe shelving thing and I use it to hold my uh, punches. I don't know where else I would put them if I didn't have this thing. It's just a godsend and I'm getting, it's getting full <laughs> and I'm going to try and see if I can find another one. Maybe a second one that can fit there. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but those are my um, cuddle bug embossing folders and dies. I have a couple of Sizzix ones and some Spellbinders um, nesties that I really, really love. This is my um, stamp storage um, container from Close to My Heart. It's got all my stamps and my stamp pads and my um, pens. Um, I think I've mentioned before that uh, most of the time <laughs> my room may not be totally functional uh, in terms of just ease of use and stuff like that, but it is, it works for me because I need to keep, I just, I have a little one who loves, loves, loves to get into things and I just worry that because scrapbooking has a lot of small little things, I'm afraid that I'll, that she'll swallow something or stick something in her mouth that she's not supposed to. So. This uh, is a little antique dresser drawer thingy um, that I've used to put my scrap stuff in. Um, down here at the bottom are the, just have my 8.5 by 11 papers. I don't have very much left. Most of my stuff is 12 by 12 now. Um, the little storage you guys saw before to do my eyelets and my bread. Down there in that box is the distress inks. Um, here are all my stamps. Kind of cleaned them out the other day, so that's really good. The bling goes in there. Embossing powders and um, embossing pads are in there. Buttons, um, acrylic overlays, silk flowers, fabric and um, what is that? Fabric and felt. And then the bottom drawer has um, cards that I've already made. And then this is my desk, the area where I work. And I'm so sorry, that's such a glare. I'm gonna come back over here so you guys can see. There's the rest of my stamps down below on that shelf are the sticker. Um, kids were playing with that, but they were normally they lay open like that so that you can see the stickers. But they are the notebooks that I did on one of my challenges. Put the stickers in those. And that's my desk, ladies. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'm so glad that I did these challenges. They were lots and lots of fun. Thanks.